the isro chief dr k seven uh, not just congratulating his team uh, at the launch site also detailing the efforts put in by the team members over the last few weeks in the successful launch of chandrayaan 2 it's another step closer uh, for indian setting foot on the moon in the very near future let me now open this up to our panelists joining us arun ram a resident editor of, editor of the times of india author of the ready to fire uh, how india and i survived the isro spy case uh, dr chetan giri also on the show he is fellow space and ocean studies gateway house bekash sinha scientist and former director of the vecc kartik bomakanti associate fellow strategic studies program at the orf bekash sinha if i could begin with you sir how do you see this yes please i think as i am mentioning all day It's a historic day today, as the director mentioned just a few minutes ago. For Indians, it's a very proud and historic day because the first time India is making effort to go to Chandrayaan 2 on the South Pole of the Moon, which has not been done before. So it's going to a territory where man has never trespassed before, which is a wonderful thing. And the technologically, it's a very challenging job because you know, the South Pole doesn't get much. heat from the sun and the solar power is essential for electricity and any electric power whatsoever so one has to handle this whole thing very trickily to get as much solar power as possible in the south pole and of, of course the possibility of getting water from the moon helium 3 gas from the moon which is necessary for our future technology and other possible uh, sources of important mining and so on but most important of all is a proud day as was mentioned by the director for all of us because to work in systematically and coherently and consistently all the engineers in various disciplines of engineering have come forward with such a splendid performance today i hope it was okay the second thing is i'm very glad they stopped the mission at, uh, just about a week ago and within a week's time They have come up to such a point that you are going to explore a completely new and wonderful area of discovery. Thank you. Okay, sir, I'll come back to you, Karthik Bomakanti. Uh, very good afternoon to you also. In terms of uh, symbolism, what does it mean for Thank India you, as a great space power? It means a lot. I mean, we are the only fourth country in the world after the Russians, the Americans, and the Chinese. to pull off such a mission and if it goes all, all well will uh, and is successful you would be only the fourth country but it is certainly a, let, a red letter day and it is a great moment a historic moment and uh, what it does also suggest that we've also tried to overcome some of the problems that we had with the JSLV and this really does suggest that we are making impressive progress a rocket system that has given us a lot of trouble has taken is to considerable effort setbacks and failures to overcome and it is it is really a great moment if everything goes off well and the mission is successful and we I do agree that whenever a bill is introduced or brought before the house due consideration to be given to the members who want to move an amendment to the bill in whatever manner they want once the chairman all right uh, i'm sorry to have uh, cut you off you are making an important point please go ahead yeah i think this is certainly an important feat it also gives us considerable confidence in our own uh, cryogenic system and what i wanted to say is that this cryogenic system which is so successful in getting us this far will be very very important in subsequent missions for instance launching heavy up or heavy satellites such as communication satellites so that's also very important to note apart from the historic day that we are witnessing today in the form of a lunar a landing which could which will happen in a month and a month and a half from now so if all goes well we'll have uh, we'll have good news from from the isro team but but certainly this is a great moment as well, as as a space faring nation and a space faring and an asp aspiring aspiring uh, space power yeah 
so far so good because the satellite has separated from the rocket and Chandrayaan 2 is now already in the GTO orbit. Uh, Dr. Chaitanya yeah. Giri, that's you know there were many people, alright, uh, we'll have to dip into uh, congratulatory messages coming in uh, from Lok Sabha. Hamare Goro ko badaya hai. Ye Sabha Bhartiye Antish Anusandan Sanstan ke sabhi vigyani ko ho. उनके दिन रात के अथक प्रयासों के लिए उनको बधाई देती है और हमारे प्रधानमंत्री जी के द्वारा किए गए अच्छे प्रयासों के लिए भी ये सभा मान्य प्रधानमंत्री जी और बिना वैज्ञानिकों के संबोधन में भारतीय वैज्ञानिकों के लिए बधाई भारतीय वैज्ञानिकों भारतीय वैज्ञानिकों और हमारे देश के प्रधानमंत्री के नेतृत्व में ये सफल यापान चंद्रमान की वजह सबको मैं बधाई देता हूं शुरू करें माने सदस्य अजिन सारमिन साहब आज अभी सदन के सामने आदरणीय सभापति महोदय ने अध्यक्ष महोदय ने जो एक उपलब्धि भारत के देश भारत देश के बारे में यहां बताई निश्चित रूप से यह भारत सरकार में एक फैदर इन द कैप है जिससे भारत वर्ष को और भी दुनिया में नाम लौकिक मिलने में बहुत बड़ा योगदान इस नियोजन के माध्यम से हुआ है मैं भारत सरकार का हमारी पार्टी की ओर से आप सभी लोगों की ओर से अभिनंदन करना चाहूंगा उन वैज्ञानिकों का अभिनंदन करो करना चाहूंगा जिन्होंने इस योजना में सफलतापूर्वक यहां काम किया है मैं अभी अपने मूल विषय पर आने की इजाजत चाहूंगा अध्यक्ष महोदय आरटीआई प्रभावी तरीके से लागू करने में इस शासन का बहुत बड़ा हाथ है और निश्चित रूप से और कारगर करने के हेतु आज शासन इसके बारे में प्रशासन को साथ और रखने के लिए निश्चित रूप से उसमें कुछ जरूरी यहां दुरुस्तियां सुझा, सुझाव दे रहा है जिस आरटीआई एक्ट के बारे में इतना या कामकाज चल रहा है मैं अंतरणीय मंत्री महोदय से अनुरोध करना चाहूंगा उनसे विनती करना चाहूंगा कि आज भी सेंट्रल लेवल पे 11 में से चार ही आयुक्तों के पद भरे हुए हैं और बाकी के पदों के बारे में अभी भी शॉर्टफॉल है मेरे सदन के भाइयों का एक विचार है कि इसकी पारदर्शकता के बारे में कुछ शंकाएं सदन को आ रही है मैं निश्चित रूप से मंत्री महोदय Congratulatory messages pouring in from both houses of parliament. Uh, Chaitanya Giri, uh, Dr. Chaitanya Giri, I would like to bring you in. We've not just, uh, you know, once again underlined our uh, space prowess by the launch of Chandrayaan 2, the manner in which we've done it. And uh, this is so cost effective, just uh, 987 crores. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh. We've had this knack of doing missions cheaply and with at very you know inexpensive cost uh, cost lines, and we've we've uh, we've uh, I mean we've revisited our progress again. But more than that, what does this uh, 900 crores return to us? That's uh, that will be a bigger thing to discuss. Uh, from what I see, uh, is that. Uh, the mission might be worth in a few hundred crores, but it will return science and technology worth thousands and thousands of crores. So we must not miss that. So rather than speaking more on what we are investing, we should rather discuss what's the return on that investment. And the return on the investment is good science. Now, for instance, uh, we are we are we are landing on the south pole of the moon. The south pole is a location where you have immense treasure trove of. Uh, Isis of water, Isis of carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, nitrogen. Uh, uh, then you have uh, several other minerals which haven't been yet detected. And what does this give us back? It gives us Major back really good right. science. It gives us back uh, new discoveries. It gives us back new intellectual property. And this intellectual property can then be you know, really utilized well uh, for establishing what we are all calling as the new space economy. 
Before I bring in uh, Arun Ram, he also wants to come in. We'll also, we've op also opened our call-in lines. We want uh, the people of our country to congratulate and send in their wishes for Team Isro. This is a momentous occasion. We have our first viewer uh, on the phone line, Ms. Malini, calling us from Bengaluru. Ma'am, very good afternoon. Go ahead. Yeah, good afternoon. Hello. Go ahead, ma'am. You're on times now. We can hear you. Yeah, yeah. I am telling my congratulations for the launching of Chandra and you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Narayanan uh, also on the phone line from Chennai. Sir, very good afternoon. You are on times now. Yeah. Yeah. My address compilations to the And I pray that it lands on the scheduled date successfully. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Venkatesh uh, from Bengal and then I bring in Gopal from Bengaluru. Mr. Venkatesh, go ahead. Yeah, I, I think this is the first time after the Chinese who had landed very close to the far side of the moon, but not exactly in the far side. So it's a fantastic achievement by us. In the meantime, uh, on a lighter note, there is a certain person from the Congress candidate, uh, Congress camp who is saying that they've been doing it every year at Diwali time anyway. So he says it's no big deal. He goes by the name of Papu. Right, thank you, thank you. Mr. Gopal from Bengaluru, sir, go ahead. Very good afternoon. Actually, ISRO scientists have made a big, great achievement from the point of view of Indian economy, you know. Actually, they have come a long way from Aribata to this state, a country which was... Hello? We can hear you, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, our scientists have made a great achievement. Produced our achievement. Our, our scientists are great, really great, you know, in spite of all the compulsions from the locals and international level, they have done very good achievements, sir. It's a great, great achievement. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, and Arun Ram uh, is somebody who's uh, tracked uh, many unsung heroes at uh, ISRO. What do you make of this launch, sir? I think... Uh India and generally space science, Indian space science should be very happy uh, with the fact that, you know, uh, we have developed uh, an indigenous cryogenic engine, CE-25. This is only the third flight, though we claim that three flights we have done, I think it's uh, uh, functionally it is only the third flight in the last two years we have done. And this was a perfect a textbook uh, launch we have achieved. In fact, as uh, the chairman, ISRO chairman said, we have achieved a better orbit than uh, expected three, six thousand kilometers. So uh, I think it's, this is going to be the most crucial takeaway for ISRO and India in future. Because cryogenics is the, the science of future. And it has always been, if you look at it slightly, if we look back, it has been a very tricky, very arduous uh, journey for India and ISRO to pass to this technology. We started in 1991 and uh, you know what happened, the US sanctions on uh, GLAD Cosmos, the USSR's uh, space agency and ISRO and we had to shelve the project. And you know in 1994, uh, what, what was infamously called the ISRO spy case broke out. Mr. Nambi Narayanan was here with us a couple of hours ago. Uh, so then, of course, uh, we had to overcome such huge hurdles, uh, such huge problems to uh, reach where we have been. Uh, it also means that we probably lost about a decade in developing this technology, but I think we all have to be proud that finally we have developed this technology. And uh, again, visuals coming in, sir, as we speak, I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Ram. I'll uh, bring you back once again. Uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, they're watching the launch uh, on television, uh, they are standing alongside the national tricolor. A proud moment, uh, not just for him, for the entire country. And uh, this is a moment that the world is watching India. And they are watching India with awe because the manner in which ISRO has achieved this uh, feat, uh, it's hats off to the scientists there and all the effort that has gone into it. And I say that because I remember after the technical snag uh, on the first date of the launch uh, there were many people on social media who were you know making jokes and memes about uh, isro so this is a befitting reply to all the naysayers all the critics uh, and uh, india has uh, stamped its uh, space uh, prowess uh, uh, because you know, i want to come back to you sir the lander and uh, the rover are now expected to make a landing roughly around the 6th uh, or the 7th of september what happens in between sir if you could break it down for our viewers 
What happens what? What happens from the launch Hello? till the time the lander and the rover land? They, they would be there, they, they would come close to the moon and then will be released to drop very softly on the south pole of the moon. As was mentioned just now, they would look for solid ice because of carbon dioxide, nitrogen and maybe other elements and also possible mining and so on. Uh, any kind of mining to see if moon has something for us in, in, in not only India but the whole world. So rover will be there, very much there until the last moment. And in fact, they have shortened the time, in fact, seven days, so it has to move faster to maintain the time lag as it was before. So that is also a remarkable achievement. More viewers connecting with us, Mr. Bhim Singh uh, for calling us from Bengaluru. Sir, very good afternoon. Go ahead. First of all, a uh, lot of congratulations. Okay, kudos uh, to the team, uh, both people who are working in the front and behind. Uh, let us not forget the last person who was there responsible for doing this job. Uh, like somebody said, unsung heroes. Yes, they are. And ISRO has done a very fantastic job. And I'm sure India has made uh, okay, its stamp uh, visible to the entire world, both within and without. In the sense, and this is also a proud moment for all of us. As the ISRO chief was saying, a lot of work is to be done. And one thing I would like to say through your channel is, I am sure all the people, all the billion people of India are very happy, no doubt in this. But at the same time, I expect all the politicians to sink in their differences and applaud the scientists who have achieved this great Herculean task. If this is done, then I am sure, okay, ISO is going to launch another one. Congratulations to everybody. Thank you, sir. Well said. Uh, let's uh, keep politics aside in all this. Karthik from Mumbai on the phone line. Very good afternoon, sir. Go ahead. Yes, uh, I watched this uh, intro uh, takeoff of Sandran 2 uh, with uh, pride in my eyes. Um, stellar performance by the intro team. And uh, they actually skyrocketed India onto the moon and uh, into space technology. And uh, Really, a very proud moment. I'm at a loss of words. To excitement. I can understand uh, the emotions. I still have goosebumps, Mr. Karthik, there from Mumbai. Thank you for sharing your uh, thoughts with us. Ramesh uh, calling us from Bengaluru. Sir, you're on Times now. Very good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's a very, very proud moment for the whole country. And for a person like me, I'm terribly moved. I've seen Apollo, I listened to Apollo 8 as a teenager, as a youngster of 10 years. I've watched a movie at Rex Theatre of uh, Footprints on the Moon. And now I never thought in my lifetime I would see the Indian tricolor on the moon. It's a great achievement and I'm extremely proud that in my lifetime I've seen the tricolor on the moon. That's what I wanted. I wanted all the people, people who have taken the rockets on cycles. Today we see them being applauded. But do they realize the effort involved in it? It's something very great and I, I'm emotionally very moved. Today is a very proud day for me. Thank you very much for having put me up. Have sir, a uh, sir uh, great job uh, by the scientists at ISRO and the entire country is uh, standing on its feet and applauding that uh, Saha now from Ghaziabad on the phone line. Sir, well, you are on Times now. Go ahead. Uh, I want to congratulate our best scientist led by Mr. Sivam for their great achievement. The whole India is proud of all our scientists. I have a request to all this uh, Times now and Media House that all these scientists' life should be telecasted to give a boost to the scientist fraternity. Thank you. We will do that, sir. Most certainly we will do, do that, Mr. Saha. Uh, Mr. Mohan now on the phone line from Bengaluru, sir. Very good afternoon. Sir, my hearty congratulations to all the ISRO scientists, sir. Full team, entire team. I have to the hearty congratulations to the organization, you know, nearly 500 private entrepreneurs and the institution. It's only to them also to make this decision, make in India. Make, make in India progress has to come in many, many ways. And in future also, my RT RT congratulations to entire ISRO and nation. Thank you, sir. That's a good point that you've raised about the indigenous nature of this program. Everything 
is made in India and that will land on the moon. We have a date set with the south pole of the moon, the dark side as it is called. Ms. Jyoti from Bengaluru now on the phone line. Ma'am, very good afternoon. Very good afternoon. Uh, congratulations to so, uh, the nation. Uh, first of all, I feel, you know, we should stop the brain drain. We are capable of much more, achieving much, much more. Uh, I guess it, uh, this is the point when we uh, seriously consider uh, giving admissions to people in IIM who will serve the country rather than uh, serve other countries. Uh, this is my uh, very uh, <laughs> serious uh, thought at this juncture. We are capable of much more and this is a very, very, indeed a very proud moment for all of us. Uh, I feel pretty emotional about this. <laughs> I understand. Thank you. Thank you for your uh, wishes. Sushant uh, from Bengaluru. Very good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. Hi. I myself uh, dream to be a scientist in the future and uh, seeing that uh, our ISRO which is in India is launching Chandrayana 2 so successfully brings so much charm within me. Right and this will uh, also inspire a generation. Uh, uh, our reactions also coming in from the film industry are Madhavan uh, uh, sp speaking there. Let's uh, listen in. What a spectacular launch that was. Congratulations India, congratulations ISRO, what an achievement. I mean I'd personally like to congratulate everybody at ISRO for this spectacular launch. I mean it was literally and figuratively speaking out of this world. <laughs> and I can't wait for the 6th of September when the uh, composite earth stack lands on the moon, a controlled land this time. And I'm sure we are going to create history once again and ISRO will make us proud yet again. Trust uh, India will create history come the September 6th uh, when the lander and the rover will land uh, on the dark side of moon. Uh, Dr. Chaitanya Didi, uh, if you could uh, tell our viewers uh, about the make in India nature of everything behind <coughs> Chandrayaan 2. Yeah, the, the payloads are Indian, the, rockets in, uh, uh, the rocket is Indian. The spacecraft bus which carries the payload is Indian. The, the rover that has been designed is of Indian origin. The lander is of Indian origin. I think this is a great feat. See, these are the missions. These are the, these are the, uh, these are the, you know, you know, uh, these are the uh, things which go on uh, national postcards. Uh, they, they remain in your history. They, you know, they get imbibed on your minds, uh, you know, much more than anything can get. Uh, this becomes a hallmark of uh, India's uh, indigenous prowess. And hereafter, I'm pretty sure that uh, we will be continuing to design such uh, spacecrafts and rockets and um, you know uh, rovers and landers uh, within India, and not just within the government space agency, but uh, also within the private sector. Indigenous does not necessarily mean that it should be built by the government. It can also be built by the private sector. And, uh, and ISRO has proved that. Uh, uh, Mr. Arun Ram, uh, who would uh, forget the, the infamous uh, New York Times uh, cartoon uh, mocking India's uh, space science and the progress we had then and from there to now Chandrayaan 2.